Yeah, so we're back. Um, uh, little pickup. Motherboard's in. Uh, processor is installed. Just got to put the uh, the heat to, or the thermal paste on it. The radiator and the uh, reservoir and pump are installed. All the tubing's good. We have the uh, the block. All set to go. So we can just uh, put the back plate on, apply the thermal paste, and uh, go from there. Pretty much everything else is uh, set up. Uh, I have not plugged in the 24 pin power yet, or the, uh, the graphics card, and that's about it. So, coming along pretty nicely. We really don't have too much left to do here. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and put the back plate. For the LGA 1155 socket and these have like a little plastic coating on them peel that off and when you stick it to the back of the motherboard it'll stick to it that way when you're putting the uh, the screws in for the socket it'll actually stay in place on the back of the motherboard which is Oh, and also, the same goes for the, uh, the screw holes on it. Same thing, those peel right off, and that'll help it stick to the back of the motherboard. You just peel that right off. And if it leaves a little bit of a residue, it's not too much of a problem. It's just enough to uh, keep it in place. So, you can just line this up with the holes. Oh, and also, uh, with the back plate, the square end on the top, this here is the top of it. Now from here, we can go ahead and apply the uh, thermal paste to the processor itself. I do this a little bit differently than what some people do or recommend, but I've been doing it for a while now and I get great results with it. But feel free to do it as you wish or what you think is best. You know, different strokes for different folks. Whatever you think works best for you, you know, by all means. If you want to use the recommended way, use that. Actually, 
Uh, I think it's a makeup brush. I found it at Walmart. It was two or three bucks. And this side is kind of spongy almost. And, uh, you know, I'll put the little dot right in the center of the, uh, the processor and actually smear it right out. And then uh, once you put the water block right over it and attach it, the, uh, the pressure will spread the rest of it out. Make sure there's no air bubbles. But before we go and put the thermal paste on, I just use uh, isopropyl alcohol. I use a 91% uh, solution and a uh, clean applicator of some sort that's not going to leave any residue. I use cotton balls that have uh, balled up nice and tight. I'll go ahead and give a nice wipe down to the block and then to the processor itself and just give that a second to dry just to make sure that there's no grease or fingerprints on it because in doing so I'll make sure there's a nice clean application I know when putting this in I uh, manhandled the block a little bit so So I do the same thing to the processor just to make sure it's nice and clean. And that's it. Just give it a second to dry. I'll probably go ahead and uh, grab another cotton ball and clean off the end of this tip just to make sure there's no residue on it. In the same way, I'll just uh, put some alcohol on it. Now they do sell like a, a two-part compound uh, for a remover for CPUs and stuff, but I found that this works pretty well, so I haven't had any problems thus far. Okay, so that's nice and clean. Just one second, somebody's at the door. <clears throat> okay, so I go ahead and uh, the first little bit of this, I'm just going to take some out of the end just to make sure if it's been sitting, because it's a fresh tube, just to get any off the end of it. So we'll start with that, see what kind of coverage we got, and go from there. Some people may say that I use too much, some people say I use too little. Like I said, it's uh, everybody has their own method of doing this.
Now I did read with uh, Intel process, some people say to put the thermal paste on in lines and just let the, uh, the heat sink, the heat from it once it's running, just to spread it out. But this is the way I've been doing it for a while, so I'm going to stick with that. This may take a little bit longer than other methods, but for me it guarantees even coverage over the CPU, so I'm satisfied with that. side there and that'll be it. We'll put the water block on. And uh, pretty much be good to go. Okay, so that'll give you a, kind of an idea of what I'm talking about. It's a uh, it's a pretty thin layer, but it's evenly coated. Uh, yeah, looks like looks like a lot, but once uh, once it gets moving, it's, uh, it's really not too much on there at all. But again, some people may say it's too much. Some people may say it's not enough, but it works for me. I'm happy with that. Now we can uh, take the mounting screws for the block and get those started. So this is the power connector for the pump. 
cut that out. Back. sit just like this right over it so I'm gonna get on the other side And then just line it up with the back plate. Actually start with one of the bottom ones first just because of the uh, way the tubing works it kind of puts a push on the bottom. 